Yeah. Can you tell me the three dumbest things you've had to do for a David Dobrik video? Uh, the three dumbest things I ever had yeah. to do? One time, it was, it was dumb. <laughs> like, I'm like, I was like sore afterwards. The paintball shooting scares the crap out of me. One time, um, Scott was performing in Sacramento and we decided to get his song on uh, KISS FM. And so we had to um, fly to Sacramento for, just, just to see Scott for five minutes and turn the radio on and have him hear the song. Wow. And then, um, but then we had to drive like six or seven hours back in the middle of the night, so that was pretty dumb. Yeah. One time I got shot eight times with a paintball gun. Yep. And um, the dumbest thing, the other dumbest thing, I mean, I went to Hawaii and I was going on a really nice vacation and he asked me if he could come and shoot me with a paintball gun. And I said yes. And, uh, and so the entire time I was in Hawaii, I was just, just waiting to get just shot. Paranoid. Yeah, yeah. So he, he let you know it was going to happen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I knew he would find me. Yeah. Um, and so it was just a matter of time. So I just put it out of my head and I was like, uh, and it was the dumbest, but it was also my favorite video. Yeah. So Jumping in the dry nice. ice pool, um, back of the U Haul yeah. truck. Um, I was we did a dinner in the back of the U-Haul truck, and three was... would be the paintball things is always the only thing I can think of. Yep. But yeah. <laughs> what, was, what was the dry ice pool? Um, I mean, it's he, pretty self-explanatory. He was I guess. trying to break a, a record of how much dry ice you put into a pool, and we put it in our the house that we lived in together first, the with Zane and Heath and Elton and Todd, and uh, broke the record, threw a bunch of dry ice in the pool, and then I jumped in it. So that's why it was kind of kind of pretty dumb. Yeah, damn, dude. You guys are, uh, look like you've been put through the ringer for some of those things. Yeah, like, like the U-Haul. I was in like the back of a 20-foot U-Haul, like, yeah. the double extended U-Haul with um, olive oil and we had like a mattress at the end and like they would drive and we'd come it forward. It sounds like a cartoon. It like, was like... a mattress in the end and everything yeah, would be okay. Yeah, it was, you know? it was dumb. <laughs> like, I'm like, I was like sore afterwards. I yeah. like banged my body up with it. That definitely... Uh, well, there was this one bit where, where me and Scott took off running, Scott and I, uh, we took off running different ways, and Heath was able to unload on both of us, and he literally got us with every every paintball he could. Yeah, and it was that was terrible. Not every paintball he could. Well, yeah, well, every paintball every paintball he that could. was in yeah. every yeah. paintball that was in the chamber. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, yeah, unloading. No missing. Does. David didn't make Scott do this at all, but Scott got a picture of David tattooed on his I did arm. See that. He, I came home. I think it was away for the weekend, and he's like, I have a surprise for you, and we were FaceTiming, and. He put like a scarf over his forehead or no, it was over his eyes. I was like, what is the surprise? What did you do to this part of your body? But that was just a cover when I got home. He's like, look, I got a tattoo of David. I got a face tat. And cause right. he was trying to tell me like it was a face tat. And I mean, that was a lot. He, I mean, the paintball shooting scares the crap out of me. What's Nobody what else cares though. What happened there? I didn't see that one. Oh, it's, it's just all the time. That's just like a constant oh, thing. Oh, okay, I, like, sorry. Yeah, yeah. a paintball gun and like shoot them. Got ya. That scares me. I've never been shot by a paintball gun, and I never planned to be. What was the one where where, you, where um, Scott and Todd were in the back of like the truck, and like they're just like driving around? Oh, the U-Haul thing. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that was a lot. That scared me because I don't see. I think that's why I'm never the one that does David things because I'm like I'm scared. I don't want to. Don't put me in it. And he knows not to put me in it. But yeah, yeah that was a lot. I think I think they got in trouble from right. that. I think like U-Haul. Yeah. Got mad at them for that. I don't okay, know if I, did I just spill that tea? I, I don't know. That's but right. uh, yeah. last question: What's it like having a car bought for you by David Dobrik? How's that? How was that experience? It's an amazing feeling to have somebody that's so generous in your life, because you know David's so, such a special guy, and the fact that the fact that he thought that I was you know a part of his team at all is like is such a big compliment. So for him to buy me a car was like wow because I, I would have never expected him to do that you know it, you never you never think that someone's going to just surprise you with a car even as people are getting cars all around you you're like you don't really even want the car you know you just want to see like the videos do well and then when you and then when he gave it to me like I know the rules of that which is like you know just be happy be grateful you know for the car and don't be like no 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 you know and so when I got it, I was like, "How? Oh, yes. How? Sorry, I yes. swore. <laughs> but yeah, it was, this is the best feeling, and it was the exact car I wanted, and the car is incredible. If you like what you saw, make sure you check out some of our other videos right here, and also be sure to subscribe to our channel right here for new videos coming out every week.